Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's D Lloyd and welcome back to another episode of our Tennessee Titans Madden 19 Connected Franchise Series. We are now just two games away from the end of the regular season. We are currently on top of the AFC South with an 8-6 record. The Houston Texans also 8-6, but we do hold the tiebreaker. Jacksonville, though, is 7-7. Seven seven. That's the team that holds the tiebreaker over us. So we need them to lose this week, and we need to win. And we could be in the playoffs. So definitely going to be a good race to finish out the season. Now for scouting, before we get into the video, as always, take a look at a few players. But we want to specifically be looking at quarterbacks. Mario had a terrible game last week. He also did not finish the game with the injury. So we're going to keep looking at quarterbacks and see who's truly out there. Now, a lot of top of, a lot of good quarterbacks on top of the draft. But when you get toward the end of the draft, not so many. I like that Nick Fitzgerald guy. He looks pretty good. We're looking at Jake Bentley right here. Uh, you like the accuracy, but he's not accurate enough. And I think that is definitely fit into my play style. Although, I do scramble with my quarterback. I'm not looking to scramble first. And a lot of you guys are realizing that's how I typically like to play. So, you know, I need to have an accurate quarterback more than anything. I think accuracy, then maybe throwing power, and then running ability in that order is typically what I'm trying to look for in a quarterback. So, you're looking at me, looking at McSorley right now. He looks okay. I don't see any accuracy. So we're not going to go ahead and add him to our recruiting board. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this week's game. Taking on the Washington Redskins. You guys seen the standings. If we win, Jacksonville loses. Then we clinch a spot in the playoffs. However, if we win and Jacksonville wins, it's going to come down to a week 17 game. Or if we lose, Jacksonville lose and the Texans win. Then it's all going to come down to a week 17 as well. So you see us coming onto the field, taking on Washington. We are at home, Nissan Stadium. Need to get a win here. Jack, I mean, the Redskins just beat Jacksonville last week. So it's going to be a tough matchup this week for us. You see Alex Smith, 21 TDs, 10 picks on the season. They get the football first. First play from scrimmage. They line up in the shotgun formation. They hand the football off to Chris Thompson. And Chris Thompson going nowhere. He will meet Jarrell Casey at just about the line of scrimmage. He's only getting a gain of three right there. Second and seven. Alex Smith dropping back, looking to his right. That's going to be Reed. And he will end up fumbling the football. We recover it. That is a huge turnover. However, it will be reviewed. And when we look at the review right here, it is clear. Clear that he hit the ground well before he fumbled the football. So I don't know how they considered it a fumble at first, but clearly on the replay, this is going to be reversed, and it was reversed. So the rest can still have possession of the football. Now it is third and three. They hand the football off to Chris Thompson, and we are there to stop him. So that is good. They still have to punt the football, and that's going to give us an opportunity to try to get some points. So you see Marcus Mariota coming onto the field. 18 TDs, 17 picks. He threw two last week. Hopefully he could bounce back in this Episode. So you see him huddling up, trying to get something going. We lined up under center to start things off. Dropping back, looking for the drag route. That's going to be Corey Davis making the reception. But he'll be brought down by Norman at the 27-yard line. Second and two. We go to the ground this time. This is Derrick Henry cutting up. And Derrick Henry picking up a first down. So he had a couple of good games also for Derrick Henry. Just didn't do that good against Jacksonville, but he has been performing very well in the second half of the season. Right here, Mariota tries to run it. He gets his stick. He fumbles the football, and that is something that we are used to. As I think I said, that was his 13th fumble of the season. He has been fumbling at least once per game. So, Jax, I mean the Redskins. I don't know why I want to keep calling them Jacksonville. The Redskins, they get the football, but Chris Thompson, he loses yards on that one. Second and 19. This is going to be Alex Smith looking to his left. He's going to connect with Jameis Crowder. He's making that reception at the 41. Now they are looking at a third and nine right here. Alex Smith dropping back. Has a lot of time. He decides to run. Running into his own defender. And eventually he will be brought down. He gets a gain of about three. And now they're at the 38-yard line. But that's enough for them to kick this field goal, which will be good. So barely able to squeak that one in there. But they're up three to nothing to start things off in this game. So, first and 10. Marcus Mariota dropping back. He has a wide open. Delaney Walker dragging across the field, lowering his shoulder, but he will be inches shy of that first down marker. Second down now. Handing the football off to Derrick Henry. He cuts up the field, trying to pick up the first down, and he will barely, but he's still able to pick up enough yardage for the first down. But here we go with the stretch to the left. This is Derrick Henry. He's bouncing this one to the outside, and Derrick Henry will get a nice gain of eight. On that one, as we knock down the referee, second and two now. 
looking to throw the football. This is Marcus Mario. The pressure is coming. We get rid of it in time. And that's going to be Deion Lewis making that reception. And we are now down to the 46-yard line. The next play. We're looking once again to go with these drag routes, see if anybody can get open. Nobody is open. We're rolling out to our right now. We will end up keeping this one ourselves. And Marcus Mariota gets a couple of yards just to gain a two, but it's still a positive game right here. We go with a stretch, trying to cut up with Derrick Henry, but there's going to be Swearinger in there to stop that. So third and seven now. Going with a play fake, have a wide open receiver. That's going to be Corey Davis making that reception and Mario to off to a hot start four for four in this ball game right here he is dropping back he's rolling out to his left trying to find the open receiver he'll end up keeping this one himself once again and Mario is still just tiptoeing down the sideline picking up a first down so 20 at the 21 yard line right there in the first quarter can we score some points preferably a touchdown. You see Mariota, he's checking, he's telling them who the blitzer is, and they pick up the blitz, able to get the football now to Corey Davis, and that is going to be another first down. So Mariota 5 for 5 in this game. Second down, we have the football off to Deion Lewis, and he will be shy of that first down marker. So now we are looking at a third and in inches. We go with a fullback dive, and we are going to pick up the first down right there, down to the six yard line. Nine minutes to go here in quarter number two. We toss this one out to Derrick Henry, gets a couple of blocks, and Derrick Henry trying to lower his shoulder, but he cannot fall into the end zone for a touchdown. So, second and goal from the two. This is Mariota dropping back, looking for an open receiver. Nobody's there. He's taking off running, trying to dive into the end zone, but they're going to rule him down at the one yard line. You see the effort right there. Just cannot extend the football past the goal line. So, is going to be third and goal. We go to the quarterback sneak, and this time Mariota is getting into the end zone for a touchdown. We get the first touchdown of the ball game, and we go up seven to three. And you see the nice little team celebration right there, shooting the free throws, but it will be blocked by Delaney Walker. I don't know why he wants to be an asshole like that, but he is. But here comes the Washington Redskins. They are now trailing in the ball game. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. Alex Smith looking to his right. He's going to find Crowder making that catch, taking a huge hit. And he ends up dropping it. So that is definitely great. Second and 10, though. They go ahead and find Chris Thompson. He's able to get past Derek Morgan, get a couple of blocks. And Chris Thompson, you know this kid is, is insanely fast. And he's taking this one 75 yards for a touchdown. So just like that, the Washington Redskins answer right back. And they are leading this game 10 to 7. We need to win this game, essentially. It'll make it a whole lot easier for us to make the playoffs if we win this game. So we hand the football off to Derrick Henry. We have to get something going, and he's going to lower that shoulder, pick up the first down, and take it down to the 38-yard line right here. Mario to drop him back. Rolling out to his right, trying to find an open receiver. He ends up just throwing this football away before he got hit. So that is his first incompletion of the day. Second and 10. Line it up under center again. Marcus Mariota with a deep drop back. Looking to throw the ball deep, but this time he will overshoot Rashard Matthews. So now we are looking at a third and 10. Mariota dropping back, stepping up in the pocket. He's going to take off running, and Mariota will slide down at the 48-yard line. That's going to be enough for a first down. So we're lined up under center now. Another deep drop back. Looking for Rashad Matthews on the comeback route, and he is able to come down with that reception. So things are looking good on this possession, but we need to keep on going and try to score a touchdown if possible. You see Mariota, he's stepping up. He will end up sliding down at the 24-yard line. So that would be a nice, decent game. But then after our holding, that's going to bring us all the way back. So second and 15. We're going to go ahead and look for Smith, but John New Smith cannot hold on to it. So now, a big time third and 20. Pretty much out of field goal range here. You see us rolling out to our right looking for Derrick Henry. We just lob it up to him. He makes the catch and he gets brought down at the 32. And the reason why that is huge is because we are back in field goal range. So the 49 yard field goal is up and it is going to be good. So 10 to 10. That is the score. 451 remains here in the half. You see Alex Smith going with the play fake, taking the shot deep down the field. He's going to find Jordan Reed making that catch. And Reed going to be brought down at the 50-yard line. First and 10. Handed off to Chris Thompson, taking this one to the right. And the speed from Chris Thompson is ridiculous. Look at that nice spin move. He's picking up a first down, being brought down at the 39. Once again, Alex Smith, he goes right back to the ground. This time, Thompson going absolutely nowhere on that carry. Second and 10 now, and the football off to Thompson again. Look at the speed from Chris Thompson. He is picking up another first down. Six carries, 26 yards on the day for Chris Thompson. That's not counting his reception right there. Nice blocks. He's able to get to the outside, and we are luckily 
luckily tripping him up as he ends up falling down. So a huge break for us right there. First and 10. Now this is Reed and Jordan Reed getting into the end zone for a touchdown. So they will extend their lead going before halftime. But we do get an opportunity. You see Derrick Henry coming onto the field. Marcus Mariota has been playing fairly decent so far in this game. And right away, we're going to find Ty J. Sharp making that catch. 145 remaining here in the half. Trying to hurry up and get down the field, see what happens. You see us going with the play fake right here. Pressure coming, but we're going to find Rashad Matthews on the post. That's going to be another reception. So Mariota 9 for 12 to this point in the ball game. Now we're looking at about 55 seconds in the half. Mariota stepping up in the pocket, taking off running sliding down safely at the 29 yard line so the clock is continuing to tick we're now down to 35 seconds left in the half we're going to find Rashad Matthews making that catch a nice spin move took a big hit but that will be another first down so we still do not take a timeout 12 seconds to go pressure is coming and down goes Marcus Mariota he is brought down for a sack right there we use our timeout we just play safe we go ahead and kick this field goal which will be good so at halftime we are trailing Probably bad time management on our behalf on that drive. But we're trailing 17 to 13 in a game we pretty much need to win. Now, taking a look around the league, the Colts, they're doing what they do best, and that is losing. Down 24 to 3 to the New York Giants. So that is definitely a game that we didn't expect them to win. But Eli Manning having a great one. 14 for 16, 181, two TDs in that game. Now, looking at the Bengals and the Browns, that is a rivalry game in Cleveland. Surprisingly winning 14 to nothing. Tyrod Taylor still the starting quarterback. 8 for 12, 102 yards passing, 2 TDs. Josh Gordon also has a touchdown in that game. Now looking at, at the Eagles and the Texans, preferably the Texans will lose this game. That will be great. And this game is tied up. They're playing Philly. And we know the Eagles is going to be a tough matchup for them. So it'll be interesting to see how that game plays out in half number two. But speaking of half number two, we get the football first to start things off in half number two so we are trailing by 4 17 to 13 that is the score but Marcus Mariota looking he's gonna go ahead with a quick dump off to Delaney Walker he ends up picking up a gain of six on that reception second and four now in the shotgun formation pressure is coming looking to the right again this time it's gonna be Deion Lewis trying to pick up a first down a nice spin move but look at this that will be a late hit so we will get an additional 15 yards on top of that play. That's going to be a first down for us. That is absolutely huge. Right here we hand the football off to Derrick Henry. Getting to the outside. Derrick Henry taking this one across midfield down to the 48-yard line. Second to five now. Hand the football off to Henry. Getting to the right side. Derrick Henry lowering his shoulder. And look at this. He is gone. Nobody is going to catch him. That is going to be a huge touchdown for the Tennessee Titans and Derrick Henry. You see them celebrating as a team yet again. And we are going to regain the lead in the game that is very important. But this is where things get a little bit weird. You see Alex Smith coming onto the field. We call our play. But when we're lining up, we lose connection to the EA servers. It tells me the game won't be recorded any stats. So I'm getting extremely nervous here. Ends up kicking me back out. We finally reconnect, but then when I reconnect, I forget to hit the record button again, so we did not record the rest of the third quarter. But we're in a similar situation. We're still up by three points at the start of the fourth quarter. That's when I remembered I need to start recording yet again. And look at this. We have completely different uniforms than we did the first time. So when you lag out or you lose connection, don't expect to have the same uniforms on because Madden is going to put you back in the default uniforms. But anyway, back to the game. We're only up by three. Alex Smith has the football. You see him scrambling around, but he will end up throwing an interception. That's going to be Rashawn Evans coming up with that pick right there. Absolutely huge. He'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. So we got the ball nine minutes ago. Need to waste some clock or preferably score a touchdown. You see Rashawn Evans right there. I mean, Derek Harry, excuse me, right there. A nice run. He's going to pick up a gain of six. Second and four now. Go with the stretch. This is Derek Harry again. A nice cut up the field, but he's still shy of that first down marker. So third and one. We need to pick up the first down. We go with the stretch to Derrick Henry, trying to cut up, and Derrick Henry is picking up the first down, being brought down at the 37-yard line. So first and 10. This is Marcus Mariota. He is dropping back, looking for an open receiver, looking to the left. He's going to find Corey Davis, a nice juke move, and Corey Davis is being brought down at the 9-yard line. So a very good drive that we're putting together here. We're trying to pretty much ice this game. We hand it off to Deion Lewis, but he is going nowhere, being brought down by the former Titan linebacker, Zach Brown. 
for a loss. Second to go, we're going to find Corey Davis making the catch. He's going to be brought down at the six. So third and goal now, a very important play. Need to try to get this one into the end zone. Mariota, he's trying to roll up. He ends up stepping up, and look at this. He fumbles at the one-yard line, and it will be recovered in the end zone by Swearinger. So the Redskins catch a huge break. We get no points, and they get the football at the 20-yard line. And all they need is a field goal to try to force overtime, a touchdown to try to win this game. 5.48 remains in the ball game. They go with a play fake. Right away, Alex Smith rolling out to his right, trying to take a shot deep down the field. And this one's going to be picked off by Malcolm Butler. Yes, Malcolm Butler is a high-paid cornerback that we got from the New England Patriots. He makes a huge play right there, coming up with that interception. And that is absolutely huge. That could have saved our playoff dreams and aspirations. So, first and ten. We find Corey Davis. He makes that catch. He's going to be brought down a yard shy. Second and one. Trying to get the first down. Hand the football out to Derrick Henry. He's able to get the first down and way more. Lowering his shoulder. Being brought down at the 23-yard line. But Derrick Henry goes down with an injury once again. It seems like he gets hurt almost every game now. I don't know what's going on. You see the frustration from Derrick Henry. Luckily for us, he will not miss extended times let us great second and two though hand the football off to Deion Lewis look at the nice juke move by Deion and he's going to be brought down at the seven so we are literally right here we need to try to score a touchdown and this game will essentially be over we're looking to our right we end up stepping up in the pocket that is going to be Mario but he will slide down to play things safe at the two yard line second and goal now dropping back have a wide open Delaney Walker and he is into the end zone for a touchdown so now things are looking very good we just need to come up with a stop defensively and we'll be in a very good position heading into week 17 so here comes Alex Smith he is dropping back looking for an open receiver and this one is going to be caught I thought for a second Malcolm Butler would be able to jump in front of that he was not able to and now the rest is in the empty formation they're going to find Reed making that catch he's brought down at the 41 yard line second down now for Alex Smith coming out of the two minute warning he is rolling to his right, taking a shot down the field, and that is going to be caught. A crazy catch right there by Vernon Davis. They are now down to the 37-yard line, and here come the Redskins. We're going to find Jordan Reed. He makes that catch. He's brought down at the 29-yard line, second and three now. Alex Smith is rolling to his right, throwing it to his left, though. This one's going to be caught by Reed, and they are now down to the 8-yard line. 125 remaining in the ball game. They're just trying to get a touchdown, and they get the ball back. They're going to find Chris Thompson, but he unable to hold on to it as he drops that football. Second and goal now. They come out with three tight ends, but they're looking to throw the football still. He dumped this one off. That's going to be Darius Geis with the catch, but Geis is going to be stood up, and he is brought down at the four-yard line. So third and goal. Alex Smith dropping back. He's rolling up, rolling around the pocket, looking to his left. And look at this. Rashawn Evans, the rookie, he comes up with the interception, and that is going to be the ball game. We end up winning this game 34 to 24. We are in a very good position heading into week 17 to make the playoffs. You've seen how we started the season. The fact that we're still able to try to make the playoffs, I know a lot of it is due to our weaker division, but we're going to take any way we can get into the playoffs. Mario probably had his best game yet. 23 for 26, only three incompletions. No interceptions thrown. He did have that lost fumble. It's still probably one of his best games this season, but Derrick Henry 20 carries, a buck 52 on the ground for Derrick Henry. Mariota also had 58 yards rushing as well. Our running game was on point. All three of our running backs scored, except for a fullback, of course, but a very good game. And then Corey Davis had his best game of the season. Nine catches, 109 yards receiving, no touchdowns. But Delaney Walker, he was able to get that touchdown. Six receptions, 36 yards, and a TD. Looking at our defensive stats, Wesley Woodyard led us in solo tackles with four he also led us in total tackles with five and a tackle for a loss. So things are looking extremely, extremely good for us. Now at the end of the week, it's time to look at who is getting upgraded. And we only have one this week. That is Taewon Taylor. And we're going to upgrade his possession archetype again. So he will now be a 75 overall possession. Trying to get him to be a scheme fit, which helps us out. And he gets some pretty decent stats here. You see plus one to his agility, plus two awareness, plus one catching traffic, plus one catching medium route running, and his trucking, which I don't know why they upgraded his trucking, but that went up one also. So he now is 75 overall. And looking at the standards, we're 9-6 heading into the final week. Jacksonville, they won. They're 8-7. and seven. The Texans, they're 8-7. and seven. So for Houston, unless we lose, Jacksonville loses, there's no way they're getting into, into the game. So... 
that's pretty good news for them. For us and, and the Jaguars, basically what is going to happen is if we win, we are in. If we lose and the Jaguars win, we are out of the playoffs. If we lose and the Texans win because the Texans play the Jaguars, then we are still in the playoffs. So it's going to be a very, very important week 17. We're going to be looking at the scoreboard all game long, but it all comes down to one final week to see who will win the division and who will make the playoffs. But that is everything that I have for today's episode. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.